<laughs> Those are our our puppy. Eh? Where they say they kidnap inside Cardinal State. They say they don't regain freedom. You understand? Eh? But the lies will plenty inside the freedom. Eh, whatever. Eh? It's mind blowing. And I go prove them to all of them one after the other. You get one report I want play for you now. Watch this report very well. Open your ears. Listen very well to what was said in that report. Then when we come back together, we will point out some errors that is wrong with this uh, freedom. Uh, 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 the freedom where our pupil regained after how many days in the hands of uh, <laughs> bandits. Mwa, listen to this report. With uh, developing reports from Kaduna State, where about 137 persons abducted in uh, Kuriga village weeks ago have been rescued. This development is coming barely 24 hours after Governor of Kaduna State, Obasana, visited President Bola Tunubu to intimate him of no strategies being implemented to ensure the safe rescue of abducted children in uh, Kuriga local government. Nigeria Defense Headquarters confirmed that 137 persons comprising 76 females and 61 males were rescued in Zamfara State and will be transported and handed over to the Kaduna State Government for further action. In a statement by the Director of uh, Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, the hostages are the same persons that were abducted from the school at Kuriga and Chikun local government area of Kaduna State. He said the military, in collaboration with local authorities and government agencies, conducted a coordinated search and rescue operation to secure the hostage. You don't hear them. Uh, first of all, first of all, when these people were kidnapped from their school, uh -huh, the report had it that 287 Nine they kidnap. But wait till we hear the another say those that regain freedom now 137. And say that that amount, I mean that, that number, now be the number that we are kidnapped, not the 287. <laughs> the question when me I want to ask, share the one who believe say eh hey, now 137 now the people they kidnap. Or Make we still reason and say, hey, well, some people are still with the bandits. Uh -huh. Say, maybe they were only able to secure the release of 137, whereas the remaining number, they still did. Yeah. <laughs> but relax, relax, relax. I go, I go, I go play with you soon as you go understand that. You also hear inside that video, say, these people. Regained freedom after 24 hours where the governor of the state go visit Tenobo inside state house to intimate him on the strategies where him don't employ to make sure that these children we are released. So after a meeting within 24 hours, Boab, these children that we are supposed to be 287. But now, 137 uh, regained their freedom or gained freedom. <laughs> <laughs> now, this same government tell us they are not going to pay shish to kidnappers or whoever to secure release of any Nigeria that they are holding hostage. But in this matter now, we don't they see say they pay something, no? but they don't want to say they pay something. And what the last now? Make I give you the last to so that you go understand. Finally, finally, wait me at the talk. Help me watch this video. Steve, thanks for coming on News Night. Thank you, Father. From 280 to 137. Mm -hmm. There's a mix up there in the number 
of those early assets that were apprehended and those released and the rest. And uh, a security analyst earlier gave three different stages at, you know, securing the release of uh, this 137 children. The military, I mean, the statement is that they secured the release. How? Yeah, uh, thank you for having me to air my perspective on this uh, trending issue or challenge that has been bedeviling Nigeria in the last 10 years or more. Uh, I want to start by saying that there's a difference between rescue and release. Okay. Yes. When you talk about rescue in such uh, operations, it means that uh, there was either a confrontation between the, the operatives and uh, the criminal elements. You know, in that regard or in that event, the children were rescued. Perhaps they overpowered the criminal elements and they rescued the children. But when you talk about release, it means something went down. There was some kind of negotiation. They negotiated yes, settlement. Yes, it means that so there was something that went down a negotiation that it's not in the public space, you know. I listened to the governor of Kaduna State in his statement. He was talking about release, 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 release. It means that something must have played out. Money exchanged hands. Possibly anything. It depends on whatever terms they agreed, you know, because uh, you cannot see bandits or criminal elements go carry children in that number, you know. And just set them free. At the end of the day, after 16 days, they I said, asked for one billion naira. Of course, they asked for one billion. So what happened, you know? It's, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, uh, this uh, challenge is there. And it has, for me, if you ask me, it has come to stay. Do you know why? Because perpetrators of these criminal acts, be it uh, terrorists or bandits or kidnappers, and they are after the money. You know, they need and they are emboldened to do more. Yes. They are so emboldened. we're still going to see more of these kidnaps from the schools. That's so. the implication. Because in the last 10 years, we have seen uh, about 1,400 uh, students that have been kidnapped from different schools, from Chibok to Dapchi to Kangara to Kankara and the likes, you know. And even Federal Government College in Yaori, some students are still held hostage. This yeah. is like two years gone, mm -hmm. you know. So they don't just do these things for free. They are, perhaps they want to do it, maybe make some uh, name for themselves. But at the end of the day, they need this thing, uh, these resources to sustain themselves and to be able to carry out their terrorism. Well, don't forget that. You hear that? Na security expert, oh, na ain't talk inside that video. <laughs> now they are confusing us with two words: release and rescue. They said that military. Some quarters are saying military rescued 137 students, kidnapped students from Kaduna. Uh, say they rescued them. Uh, I say where the rescue happened na inside Zamfara State. <laughs> then uh, governor. Kaduna State is saying the popia were, I mean, the popios, I don't know, they think they call this, uh, hey, that they were released. So, which one are we to believe? Which one? This other video, they clear on the difference between release and rescue. Release, now say, money don't exchange hands. And these people, the kidnappers, they were asking for 1 billion naira. Maybe they were not able to meet up with the 1 billion. They could secure the release of 137. Contell us, hey, now 137 they kidnap. No longer 287. <laughs> that is by the way. Then from the federal government side, the army and the rest, they are saying they were rescued. You understand? That means there was a confrontation with the bandits that led to them now securing the release of these children. Which one we go believe? Can Kai Gay believe? Did they pay money or did they not pay money? Did they pay ransom or don't or, or did not pay ransom? Because how does it come on? That to Gazi now from 287 to 137. Some are saying rescue, some are saying release. Which one do we believe? Now Nigeria be this, eh? Just anywhere you did, just the praise. May Nigeria never happen to you. Because as it stands now, to balance this up, 
Those guys will ask for one billion, but they don't get one billion to pay. They can't pay the whole fee pay. They release one thirty seven. Say, eh, now this number, now him they kidnap. So the remaining made it die there. <laughs> I go say on a later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.